please join me for the flag salute. Ready, salute, and pledge. Friends of Rich will meet this week during all three lunch times on Friday, April 29th. Yearbooks are still available for purchase. $40 for soft covers and $45 for hard covers. Get your yearbook today. There will be another meeting regarding the Washington, D.C., New York trip on Wednesday, April 27th at 6 p.m. in D1, Ms. Stinger's room. If you have any questions about the trip, please attend this meeting. Going on this trip was phenomenal. Awesome. It's amazing. So much fun. You get to go to so many places that like, you've only seen on TV. It's almost like you don't even realize it at your school. You're just going on a trip with your friends and just having fun. Come join World Strides for a fast-paced adventure with your friends in two incredible American cities, our spectacular nation's capital, and the exhilarating Big Apple. It feels like you're on top of the world. This is where the immigrants were processed. You learned a whole lot about your country's history, but you had fun at the same time doing it. After this trip, I just really want to travel a lot more now. From DC to NYC, from famous monuments to monumental buildings, you'll learn new things, have fun with new friends, and build memories for a lifetime. Washington, D.C. is absolutely amazing. It's just fun to come here with your friends and just have a blast. Look at this, look at this. I was kind of nervous because I wasn't sure what to expect. But once I got here, I was just so excited, and now I don't want to go home. I love being in D.C. The museums I saw, the memorials. All of these historical figures, like Lincoln, have been to this place, and you're walking like the same steps that he has. The best thing I did with my friends was going to the Capitol because we got to go underneath the city into the tunnels into the Capitol. I really like the Museum of Natural History. We got to see actual dinosaur bones. I like the Air and Space Museum that touched the moon rock. That was pretty cool. Seeing monuments at night was great because the way it was lit up, especially the FDR, it just like sparkled. The Washington Monument was one of my favorites because really, really high. You got to look out the window and see a nice view of everything in Washington. There's just there's so much to see. There's lots of emotions, there's lots of happiness, there's a lot of sadness. When we went to the Holocaust Museum, I saw this old man crying. He wiped his tear with his left hand, and on his left arm I saw there were numbers. I just realized that he was a survivor. I think when they get here, and they've been studying the history, it all of a sudden it comes alive to them. It makes them proud to be in America, I think. We went to Arlington cemetery and you saw all those people who died in battle and trying to make our nation better and it just kind of touches your heart. When you study from the textbook it's one thing but then when you actually get to see it firsthand it just opens my eyes. When we went to the Lincoln Memorial we learned about Martin Luther King. We said uh, I had a dream speech with everybody. I still have it was nice. I mean, I could never imagine doing what he did in front of all those people. Free at last, free at last. Thank all the mighty we are free at last. I enjoyed D.C. You get to see more historical sites. And then New York, it just, it's incredible. 
as we were driving into New York, you could just see the outline of New York in the bus. You could just hear a universal gasp because that's how beautiful it was. New York was crazy. <laughs> I don't think there's any way that you can tell kids what to expect when you hit New York. It's a different world than we come from. Everywhere you look, there's something new happening or something strange going on. Kids are walking around and, and hearing and seeing and smelling this city. Go on the subway, they're experiencing it just like any New Yorker would. It was fun dressing up and seeing a Broadway show. I've seen theaters, but in Broadway, it's a whole different story. Fifth Avenue was lots of fun. I got to go into FAO Schwartz, the NBA store, basically the Rodeo Drive of New York. When the groups go to Chinatown and Little Italy, it really gives them a sense of why people came here and where they ended up. They were coming to a new country, but they still wanted to be with people from their own countries. From 1892 to 1954, over 12 million people came through these doors. Ellis Island, that was a pretty intense experience. You feel it. You feel that you could have been there then and how intense it would have been. And seeing the Statue of Liberty up close, it's huge. It's really cool. Ground Zero. That is on every itinerary. And it's certainly the toughest part of my job. But it's important. an incredible place. It's like a miracle that all of this can exist in a place that is filled with buildings and cement. New York is a fast-paced, incredible, just gorgeous place. Really life-changing. You won't believe it till you see it. Feel it. Live it. A World Strides trip to Washington, D.C. and New York City will be an experience you will never forget. This is my 21st year with World Strides, and I can count on them for every little detail to be perfect so the kids have a wonderful time. Going on this trip with your friends is different than going with your family. First of all, your family doesn't have 90 people. Well, mine, mine doesn't. I got to make a whole bunch of new friends. It was really cool. I would come back in a heartbeat because it was like the best experience ever. It was just jam-packed with fun and learning. It was just great. It's an experience that you'll remember for the rest of your life, and it's probably the best thing I'll ever do. The next baseball and softball games will be today, Thursday, April 28th, versus El Monte here at John Muir. There will also be a snack bar. This week we are celebrating the following birthdays. Diana Ayala, Jocelyn Delgado, Alexis Hernandez, Kevin Rubio Chavez, Jacob Andrade, Michaela Crawford, Elijah Paleo, Brandy, Nikki, and Star Valdez, Jesus Ramirez, Griselda Batista, Moses Campos, Leah Chavez and Nathaniel Butemar. Have a Wildcat Day and remember Wildcat Ops. Respect for other property and self.